Hi guys, I'm Henry from Shaw, and today we're going to be having a quick look at the Seaskin Surflight range of wetsuits. Now this is a lady specific suit from Seaskins and it's designed for that colder weather conditions. So this is going to be a suit that's going to be perfect for anyone looking to get in the sea when that sea temperature drops down. Now it comes in a few different thicknesses, so it comes in a 3-2 which is really aimed for the summer conditions, a 4-3 which we would call as an all-round suit and a 5-4 for the coldest days or for those who feel the cold a little bit more. The number just determines on how thick the suit is, so a 5-4 has 5mm in the chest panel and 4mm on the arms and legs and that is going to be the bit that keeps you warm when you're out at sea. Now the surf light is really aimed for any sort of sport. So it's not a surf specific suit, it can do everything. So we sell a lot of these to people who are going swimming, who are paddle boarding, who are going kayaking and just sailing even. So anything when you're on the water and you need a good quality suit for those colder conditions. The suit uses uh, on the seam something called GBS. Now, without boring you with all wetsuit terminology, uh, it's the seam technology that is a bare minimum for going in when the water's colder. So it is a glued and blind stitch seam. The idea behind it is when they put the neoprene panels together, they stitch one half and they glue the other half. So you'll see on all these suits, there's gonna be a stitch on the outside and glue on the inside. And what that means is that you basically have a waterproof seam that runs all the way through the outside of the suit, all the way through the suit, uh, keeping you that little bit warmer. Wetsuits work by creating a thin layer of water between you and the neoprene and your body heat warms that up and keeps you warm. So you really don't want that water being slushed through very often. You wanna keep it in there as much as possible as that's the bit that keeps you warm. Now the Surflight is a lady specific cut. And again, that's really important when you're looking for a wetsuit to keep you warm. You want a suit that has a bust and a hips cut into it. If you try it on a man's suit, you'll find that it's gonna be super baggy in all the wrong places and it just won't be very comfortable and it won't keep you warm. So getting a lady specifically cut wetsuit really does make a difference. And the Seaskins cut is pretty fantastic and seems to work for a lot of people, especially as they do um, short versions. So they do a 12 short or a 14 short, um, really does give a large variety of size options out there. To get in and out of the suit, it uses a really long back zip. So especially if you're a bit new to wetsuits, having a long, easy back zip like this does make a huge difference. You basically put your swimsuit on uh, and climb into the suit and do up the back. So really easy to get on and off, um, especially useful if you're having to flap around. You don't want to be standing on the beach getting cold. So having a nice long back zip like this really does make a big difference. The neck on the suit is cut slightly lower on the ladies' suits as well, so it's just gonna be a little bit more comfortable around the neck. Uh, a lot of ladies who come in for wetsuits for the first time really struggle with tight, really tight high necks, so having a slightly sh uh, lower cut neck does make it feel a lot more comfortable when you get the suit home. Now in terms of the neoprene, so what the suit's made out of, it uses a 30% extend neoprene. So this is a more flexible neoprene and they put that in the upper body of the suit. So you can see in the arms and under the arms and that's where you need it for that flexibility. And the rest of the suit uses a neoprene called free foam, which is more of a sort of standard entry level neoprene, but really does the job, um, but just not as flexible as this nice upper body bit. And um, that's where you need it if you're gonna be swimming or you're gonna be surfing, you'd want that slightly more flexible neoprene up at the top. Uh, in terms of knee pads, it's got nice big built-in ones again, something you're probably not thinking about much um, when you're looking to buy a wetsuit, but if you're having to pump up your paddleboard or get your kayak off the roof, having uh, knee pads that are nice and strong are going to last a long time really do make a difference. Uh, final thing of the suit are the colours, so it comes in lots of different colours and shades, so this is one of the grey ones and then we have it in blue as well which is like a really nice colour on the back and having the, the colour just on the arms really does, uh, when you've got the suit on, really does make it look really sharp um, and yeah, sort of a lot of ladies seem to appreciate that Seaskins colourways because it, it adds to sort of an hourglass figure um, with the panel layout. Really important to get your fit right on wetsuits, so make sure that you check the size guide below and watch our video about what works and what doesn't work when wearing a wetsuit. Um, you really do want it to be quite tight to stop that water slushing through, um, so make sure you get the right suit. Alternatively, you can come down to our store. We have a physical shop full of these suits with expert fitters, so you can come down and make sure you get the right suit for you. But really, if you're looking for that first wetsuit for water, colder conditions, so in the winter time, the Seaskin Surf Light in a 4.3 or a 5.4 is a great option um, to get you out on the water. So yeah, that's the Seaskin Surf Light available here now at Shore.